Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. celebrating today St. Bartholomew, one of the twelve apostles. Uh, we hear, uh, we want to remember a little bit of who can identify, huh? because uh, Bartholomew, probably a surname in the Synaptic Gospels, meaning son of Ptolemy, known as Nathaniel in John's Gospel. So this is what we see in here, Nathaniel. And uh, uh, let's see what else it says. Associated with Philip. And so uh, Philip is the one. Uh, then said to have preached the gospel in India and Armenia, where according to tradition he was flayed alive. Mm -hmm. so, now you see why we have the bread huh? mm -hmm. to remember his martyrdom and his profession of faith. For the Lord Jesus. Huh? Um, now, the, his friend uh, John, you know, talks to him about Nathaniel. I mean, they were both apostles to their friends, you know. So the, the, the apostle John writes about Nathaniel here, and we we'll, we'll see how he's uh, uh, how he makes an incredible profession of faith. Before, I don't know if this is before Peter or not, in which he says, You are a uh, rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. And so it was already uh, being able then to detect something more profound uh, in, in the person of Jesus. And so, and then we have here of uh, uh, St. John, as we flip over to the book of Revelations. And uh, we have the same apostle, John, looking and telling us, look, there is this vision. But uh, the clue to the book of Revelation uh, is just simply this. The community of believers celebrating Mass. We're at the altar, and if you are in deep prayer and contemplation and understand the sacrifices going on here, then it opens up our whole new Jerusalem, the new heavens, the new earth, everything here, the Eucharist. And so St. John is already opening up the Eucharist and here he sees, uh, come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And then he begins to see the new Jerusalem and how it is built and the twelve apostles and the twelve gates and the universality of salvation, everything here from the Eucharist. And so we 
can even see the angels as we as we say holy, holy, holy. It's all come from through the Eucharist. And so now uh, uh, Saint John is already inviting Nathaniel fulfill, to fulfill his vision when Jesus says, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. I mean just fulfilling the whole gospel here with our with Saint Bartholomew. So we're, and then uh, what uh, what a great testimony he gives, and then uh, of of his whole life, how he goes to work India, uh, and then Armenia, and that's what we get. Usually, you don't hear anything about Bartholomew in India. We only know about Saint Thomas the Apostle. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, maybe he was on the northern part of India. I don't know. We don't have. Uh, many more descriptions of it. So let us then continue and, uh, and see or continue to see through the Eucharist what St. John invites us always to see the book of Revelation, to see the new heavens, the new earth, uh, see the apostles already as the, as the foundation of all the new